Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with Ship Evolution again. And last we left off, we have finished coloring up the entire ship, gathered some more parts from the debris, and now we're off to finding more ships. Let's get started. All right, so we went traveling a bit and we were able to find that beacon right up front, 3.2 away. What is it? It actually looks like another imp which is actually pretty awesome because then I could put on both ends the same ship, <laughs> which is kind of ideal for this, but we're going to have to be careful here to make sure that we don't get shot or whatever the case is. We're 2.3 away now. So let's go get closer, inspect it and see how it goes from there. Our turrets are on. So we'll probably get up to maybe the 800 mark and try to be careful from there. All right, let's slow down. We're about to KOA. Let's just inspect what we see here off the bat. I already see this bad boy here and this bad boy here. <laughs> so is there any real way around this? I don't think so. That's two Gatlin turrets right there off the bat. So that's a little bit on the dangerous side. And I think the last time I fought the imp, it moved. Unless that was the ghoul. This one hopefully doesn't move. Or doesn't, you know. Has any kind of um, attention getting situation. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be moving. But maybe because I'm far away. I'm trying to loop around to see. Because I think, if I recall correctly, looking at my own ship. There should be two other turrets on the other side. And I guess the safest way to get to the, the ship is right under the bottom. Because there shouldn't be a turret down there. So we do have to be careful. Yep, there you go. There's the other Gatlin right there. So we can bombard it going forwards on either side so that the our turrets can take care of these Gatlin turrets and then go from there. That's a possibility. But let's just double check on this side. What is it looking like? It looks like we might not have too much turrets going on here. Yeah, that one is not complete right there. It's hard to see it, but it's there. Why is my cross here and this cross here a little off? <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to hit it from the rear. <laughs> Oddly as that sounds, because I think it's going to leave us quite soon. Oh, here's the action. Oh, I'm flying too fast. Oh, yep. It's turned on its engines. Starting to move. What is this thing aiming for? I want you to aim the turrets. Why are you not aiming for turrets? What is it aiming for? Don't I have everything aiming for turrets? I hope that is the case, that everything is aiming for turrets, but it's not aiming for turrets. And this ship is way faster than me for some reason. How can I stop this thing from getting too far ahead? Nearly impossible. 275, 276, 273. I'm gaining a little bit. But... Not by much. I want to get to really slow down. I want to follow it as well, but every time I try to follow it, it stops. I mean, I think I took out all the turrets now, so why can't I get it to stop moving? I think the only way I can get this to really stop moving is with the jetpack or a spacesuit only because that travels a little bit faster. So. All right, that may be our only option or not. Seemingly slowing down now. Or is it going a different direction? Why can't my ship just follow it? I don't understand that. See, it just breaks. Okay, we are getting a little bit closer now. And I don't know if it's going to stop anytime soon. We are burning a lot of hydrogen. All right, let's just... Leave it as is. We will probably get this 
ship to stop on its own and we're gonna have to find it later and i guess we'll just go ahead and see if we can catch up to it because i know the jetpack we can catch up to it because it's 110 but once again we have to find our ship later down the line <laughs> so <laughs> that's another issue yeah i'm surprised that i can't just follow it for whatever reasons yeah this is a pain in the butt where I got to constantly hit follow and it's not, it's just canceling. Oh, there goes a contact piece or content. That's awesome. All right, here we go. So we are now finally following it. Took out all three turrets, it looks like. And the main thing to really grind down is this right here. And call it ours. Um, the other thing would be the seat that's up front. So we can just get rid of this. And there we go. So this should now be ours. Um, we probably need to take out the gyroscope because it has some override on it. So let's just take that off. All right, there we go. Worse for wears, but I mean, we have another imp, so we can always take care of that. The only other problem is now finding our ship. <laughs> Where did our ship go? I have no idea. Um, all right, this thing has not stopped, so we need to find a way to stop this flying. We should have some propulsion left somewhere. Yep, this way. So we'll slow down this way while we try to look for our ship, wherever that is. <laughs> and we can use the direction of the smoke to guide the rear here. All right, perfect. Now, where is our ship? I have no idea. Oh, why are we gaining speed? Um, thrusters, they're on override? Some of them are. Um, okay, so that's not good. <laughs> um, does that help in terms of making it ours? I don't think it does. Oh, we are pretty much losing control here. Um, they're all access denied, which is not great. So how do I kind of get control of that? I mean, we took care of the seat. We took the remote control. I mean, the only other option is to do that for now. <laughs> and then maybe turn one of these on if we can, but I don't know if we can. Um, yeah, that's really alarming that that's not technically ours still. I just need it to stop, to be honest. Uh, we'll take, we'll just hack everything that we can. Oof, this got destroyed. That's bad. That's a lot of hydrogen we're losing if that is the case. Right, so that's that. I don't know if we have enough to get this to stop now. It's still access denied, which is a problem. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> We're going to have to, I guess, find a way to get the battery then. Which now we are out of power cells. So that is not good. So there's almost no way to do this correctly, is there? Unless we slow it down enough. And then grind down the thruster so we don't float too, too bad. <laughs> we still need to find our ship. That's the problem, too. And right, that's at 40. All right. So we have a problem because of the power. I don't have a lot of parts either. And I don't know if I can take a thruster plug it in somewhere and that's going to stop it, right? I don't think it will. Meaning can we just take this one out? I mean, we can't take it out. We just got to yeah, we can't hack it. That's the problem too. The really really awkward situation um that we have here.
Let's take care of this. Oh, let's see what happens if we start hacking everything that we can. Uh, thruster. Yeah, there's still access denied. So there's not much we could do about that, is there? Yeah. How do we turn on the power unless we put our own batteries? But we can't because we need power cells. And we can't even make our power cells here. <laughs> We have a big, big problem. We have thrusters, but we can't access them. So, and it's this one that's the problem. Um, what can I do? I can't control it. Uh, I don't know. Why? What can? What? How can I do this? This battery. I mean, if we take out the battery, that's the problem also. But we could try to. Do it. Ooh, that's at 40. I don't know. Did that work? That did work. I actually got that to work for once when I needed it. <laughs> Can we? Nope. We still access denied for the thrusters. That's not great. Could it be just this hydrogen tank here? What if we just got rid of it or repaired it? I don't think we can repair it. Yeah, it's a lot of large steel tubes. Might not be able to repair it. So. Well, what if we get rid of this old battery that I couldn't recover? Would that work out okay? Thrusters. Access denied still. Alright, that's not great. So what is it that I need to do here? I'm just gonna grab everything that has access denied and hope for the best now, right? There we go. Okay, so oddly as it sounds, it's just a bunch of different things that I had to take care of first, which is weird. That's fine. Um, stuff is flying out. Do I have. Oh, I don't think. I don't think we have enough rusting or ability, the hydrogen. We don't have any hydrogen, which is the problem now. <laughs> so we need to connect this if we can somehow. I don't even have mats for this, do I? I hope we have some. We need to connect at least three. We need some small steel tubes. And break that apart. Interior pl um, plates and such. All right. Uh, where's all the stuff that we put in? We don't even have interior plates in there anyway. So, um, how can we get it in there? How can we do this? We need. We just need to connect it there. Um, shoot. <laughs> This is not good. We could pro well, we could probably get this thing to up and running, right? We just need some metal grids. If hope I still have some. If not, we'll grab from a thruster. And I hope this is gonna be our saving grace to stop. Although that has thruster override on there. Um Disable that. And that should stop it. <laughs> or whichever direction we're headed. This way? Alright. Just wagging it along just to get to stop. Should be fine. I'm not sure which direction... It is that we're still floating away. Let's see. This direction. We just need a thruster to be active here. Um, but we have a problem because... We don't have... Uh, what's it may call it? It looks like we're up is the problem. But anyways, we'll just throw one 
here for now. Grab some parts right there. And yeah, my ship is missing, so I'm going to have to find it somehow. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to find it, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to have to put a thrust up here if we can. Uh, we don't need... Oh, well, yeah, we do need one here. We'll grab this one. This, this one was functional, so that's going to go here. And that should help us stop. We have any other functional ones? We don't. We have, uh, we have some on the bottom. We have a forward one that's functional. Do we have anything else that we can grab from? So we can at least put this one here because we need upward thrust. We're pr we're pretty much needing to put any thrusters towards the tank because I have to take out the tank that was towards the middle for whatever reasons. Um, I kind of want to keep that. Get rid of the rockets if we can. Oop. Can I keep the rockets? Not enough space. Um, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Not good, not good. Alrighty. There's that. There's the pack. This is all gone wrong. <laughs> Alright, keep four. That's still good. And the ship has slowed down not necessary to a stop just yet but close enough um we'll cut this out and i guess we'll just throw one here for now if we can throw that here and we'll grab this one okay so put that here that should help us slow down and we have and we need a downwards thrust how much hydrogen is even on this thing oh 98 all right that's good I'll put one here and again this is <laughs> only because we need to slow down or drive this thing back in all the um all the Hydrogen's over here, so we have our forward, backwards, up and down, but we don't have left and right here, do we? We have... We do. So again, I'm not even sure what it was that I needed to take over in order for this to be considered... To, for me to get the thrusters, but I think it was the hydrogen or a good number of... You have to take, take out a good number of the ship first for some reason. I think that was it. I'm not sure exactly how that worked. But luckily it did work. So we should be okay. Uh, we are missing metal grids here. So this is a problem. And if there's metal grids in these, yes. So we should be okay here. All right. So this gives us our sixth direction, I think. Right? Up, down, left, right, forward, backwards. Yeah, that should do. All right, perfect. So now we got to find our ship. <laughs> I think our ship, oop, there goes that, may or may not follow along the lines of that unknown signal three away. I think it may have spawned later down the line. Um, this is really bad, actually, so I'm not even sure how i'm gonna get my ship back but we are gonna figure that out really soon does that work for the camera let's see if i can spot it i know we traveled quite far i'm not even sure if i can find my ship oh there's a no that's my beacon um <laughs> The antenna on that thing, that uh, my imp, not my imp, my ship, the Stingray, is not as far as I could have made it, I think. It would be funny if it crash landed into the moon or something like that, but I highly doubt it. So I'm assuming it might be towards this way, but that, that could have just spawned as I've been traveling with this ship. 
So yeah, I just dumped my ship instead. I should have put a GPS pointer. So I could tell exactly where it was going to be. So that's going to be fun. So contact is part of the this file here, but I don't have enough weaponry to even deal with that anyways. So we're not going to go there. There's another melee right there. So how am I going to find my ship? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so there's one way to do this. <laughs> um, and that is going to be store my stuff. If I can. I need a cargo container. Wait, is this thing moving or we stop? This is stopped. Okay. We're going to have to store our stuff and come back for it. So we are dumping everything here and we're going to GPS pointer in here. <laughs> that is the best way to go about this. I guess, unfortunately I don't want to do it, but I don't think it's going to be any other way to find my ship. So time to clone. All right, we are back on our stingray and wow, we were 26 kilometers away. Yeah, we were, we were not going to find that anytime soon, <laughs> which is not great. Okay, we sustained a lot of damage and I probably failed to... <laughs> Um, blueprint the rest of the ship too. So that's going to be fun to fix up everything. <laughs> um, shoot. I hope that's not the case though. So our projector. Let's turn it on. Yikes. I mean, we're only showing buildable, right? Yeah, we did not completely <laughs> project the ship. I mean, we still got the shape in front, so we should be okay. Nope, we don't. I'm surprised that we don't have the, the stingray piece over there. Well, we, we can fix that up ourselves later down the line. That was a bit of an issue. Oop. I heard some clanging. <laughs> There's some pieces somewhere, I guess, on the ship. That's fine, whatever. We'll make it 23, 26 away to our newly found imp that was more trouble than anything else, to be honest. How did I get it the first time a lot more easier? <laughs> I did not like that the thruster had override and for some reason I couldn't take over the thrusters until it took over a lot more items. So that's a big pain in the butt. And now our ship is pretty much totally destroyed. So we are going to have to find a way to fix all this up as well. One, we don't even have that much parts. Um, I mean, we could probably dismantle the respawn ship because we don't necessarily need that. Because we got the imp now to kind of design it with it. So we, we can kind of go by there. But that means we're going to have to leave poor Steve out of the picture because he is part of the <laughs> the ship here unless he also disappeared nope he's still here so Steve's still there uh maybe we'll find a new home for him I don't know <laughs> we're just gonna have to figure it out because yeah we we sustained way too much damage this was much harder than it should have been <laughs> but we have another imp to line it up on the side here. So yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, that wasn't great. <laughs> that was a really, really bad battle there. I would love to hit that unidentified signal, but one is far away. So I need jump drives and two, I need more um, offense. There's no way I'm going to be able to handle that alone. So that has to wait, unfortunately. I wish I could just jump right into it and show off the, or incorporate the contact update with it right away. But for now, 
we'll try our best to kind of speed run this so we can get that stuff. But well, we also want to get their upgrades also, so that's another thing. So it's gonna take some time, but hopefully we'll get there soon enough. All right, we made it to the imp. Ooh, we're about to crash right into it too. That was a close one. <laughs> that was a really close one. Not good at all. All right, so we can. All right. Yeah, it's it's worse for wares, but it's fine. We want to be on this side of it so we can merge it here. But again, we still have a problem because we don't have mats. Um, shoot. <laughs> Not a good problem to have. Alright, we're just going to do show buildable really quick. I'm going to grab... I got to grab my tools too, actually. Okay, got what we needed. And... The only thing I really worry about is this. Like, I need this. This is hard to put together. Well, it's not really difficult, but it, it's a bit annoying to put together. For the most part. So, if we had the projection up and running for it, then great. If not, then we'll, we'll gonna, we're going to have to figure it out. I mean, it's actually... No... We're pretty intact here, actually, so it's not even that bad. It's more or less just the issue with this block right over here. Um, So we're okay. We're okay. We don't need the projection. I think we worried about it too much because we saw a big old hole in the front of it, but... But it's really just something we just had to mend together. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. All right, that's fine. Let's put this back together. Yeah, we're actually perfectly fine over here. It's just more or less right here that's broken. Which is basically just thru uh, a conveyor junction and a thruster. So we just got to fix that up. But in the meantime, did it actually show this projection? It should. Yes, it did. All right. So we'll put that back together so we know that's there. But still, we are missing stuff. So... That's another problem. <laughs> so we need to get this thing merged into this now. That is the go. Um, if I dismantle these, will ammo come out? I hope that would be the case. Instead of losing it, if anything. Oh, let's see. Yes. Ammo crates. Perfect. So we'll throw that one in here. And again, I think this one, yeah, I think this one gets damaged from the thruster. I might have to remove this one, but we'll do that in a little bit. Perfect. We got more ammo like this. This is awesome. Right, I'm going to move these um, Gatlin ammo off of this one we're gonna take care take out that one because uh we don't need it these we need to i think just hack right uh this can get tricky hopefully don't get shot i think our turrets are off so we should be okay just gotta do that really quickly which was to get what we um take it over and then no to build it back up and then Take it back down really quick. Or else we probably would get shot down. Is this the one? Yes. As quickly as we can do that. Alright, perfect. Okay, so we just have an oxygen tank that we haven't taken over, which I think was this one. I mean, there's two. I know where they are since we had the ship before. And one of the biggest issues is that there was a tank over here, which is no longer. So, <laughs> that's a problem on its own. We should be able to put that back together. Um, and put the thruster over here as well. I don't know if we have the mats for it. We probably do not. 
very unfortunate that we are lacking a lot of materials. Um, that we need to go and gather somehow. I don't even think I have enough for a tank. That's how crazy this is going to be. Um, land there for now. Okay, let's see. Do we have enough for a hydrogen tank? I mean, we don't necessarily need to put a hydrogen tank here. We could put something else. Um, how's this tank kind of put? It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> we'll put it there. Do we have enough mats for this? I, for some reason, would highly doubt that. We do. But we will see. Well, it doesn't take metal grid, so it should be okay. More or less, the large steel tubes is the problem. Alright, I think we will have enough then. That is good. Yep, we are good. Alright, so we did lose out on some hydrogen here, but that's fine. Not the biggest thing in the world, and we are good. Alright, perfect. So, now the problem becomes, what am I going to do with this merge? I want to put the imp exactly the same place as this one here. So that means I'm going to have to cut basically from here to get it off, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. And then where can I put this one? I don't know. I mean, do we, we don't even have... A lot of thrust here either. Ooh, did we lose this? So of course the idea here is to merge it the same way as the other imp. Although this imp is looking a lot skinnier than <laughs> our original one that we secured. I think we have to put this one towards the back for now. So if we merge it there, at least it will keep its um, length and everything like that. But the only other problem is that it doesn't have thrusters and everything like that. So it is gonna have to float there, if anything. So I hope that it doesn't move. I mean, I could put a landing gear and everything like that to keep it under control. But at the moment, I think we just get cut right over here and then we should be good to go. going to cut here. May not need to cut this one, but maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. But we're going to do it anyways. Um, uh, Yeah, we're going to cut this, this, and this. Okay, so we should be able to release this once this is off. But again, once I cut it, there's no, there's no thrusters whatsoever. So it has to sit there. Um, and be free. So landing gear on one of these things might be uh, a good idea <laughs> for now. Landing gear or a magnetic plate, whatever the case is. I'm just going to do a landing gear really quickly just in case it decides to load away. We don't want that. We don't necessarily even need to attach it, to be honest. I mean, I could just take it apart instead and keep Get the parts from it we build a refinery and anything like that too so hmm i don't know we'll we'll decide a little bit later all right so besides that we're gonna we are gonna cut it and hope for the best here i believe it is on its own i believe <laughs> if it is oh no might not be nope we have to cut that. Don't think we need to cut this the way we do. And this. It should be a separate grid now. Yeah, it hurt a recharge and it shouldn't have any thrusters on there. Okay. It is on its own. So. Let's not nudge it. I'm going to get inside. Move away. I think that's our best thing we could do here. Yep. Now we'll grab the imp and attach it up there. And we'll we'll deal with that in a second. It'll be funny if something just comes up and start attacking us. 
then we'll lose the imp and everything too. <laughs> All that hard work for nothing. Anyways. Alright, so. We gotta figure out how we're gonna connect this thing also. I think we just gotta back up a little bit here. Or did we cut? Oh yeah, we cut a decent chunk out off the side. I'm gonna get rid of this passage kind of in my way. Okay. So if we're looking at the other side here, we we did get rid of this. But we didn't have that. And we have to get rid of some of the thrusters here in order for this to work out too. So a little bit to take care of. Right there. That's how much we're gonna do that. And then we'll just glue it together from here. So, um, I guess we just need a merge block and a merge block, and we should be good to go. We could we could just merge it up here just so it's more visible. Not opposed to doing that, and then we'll combine it together a little bit later. Oh wait, that's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> should be here. A merge block here. Bridge block here. They should glue together. Oh, nope. We've got issues. We got issues. So there is something that is not allowing us to glue together, and that's this here. Down. What did we do again with that? We decided to get rid of this right and then that way it'll mesh in but is there a light somewhere yes there was a light right here that we need to get rid of and this right here and that should potentially do it I hope <laughs> There we go. We have success. Awesome. 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 Now the ship looks more <laughs> symmetrical <laughs> on both sides. What to do with the respawn pod? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Either we double deck it, put it down here, put it in the rear. I don't even know for sure yet. I mean, let's see. How can we incorporate this thing here? I'm going to grab... Okay, I'm just going to grab the ammo back. And then also get the turret out of there. Same thing with that. I'm actually glad we got the imp just to make it look symmetrical. But it did... Cause us a big ordeal. So that's a problem as well. <laughs> okay, so where can we incorporate this? We could incorporate here, down here. Not a problem. It should fit fine. But now I gotta get rid of this whole trust that thing that we did there. As it made it on the right hand side. So we can't I, I don't think we could take in any more ships, to be honest. <laughs> We need to we need to stop doing that because we need mats. If we're gonna speed run this through to get um our jump drive and everything, and then go for the contact piece there, we 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 gotta stop assimilating ships now. Um, not ideal, but that's what it is. All right. Yeah, definitely gotta get rid of the trust. I don't know exactly how I wanna put this, but. Hmm, I think the back end will be on the lower portion of um of the respawn ship. So I think that's what we're gonna do here. Alright, so we need more merge blocks here, but we are gonna get rid of the trust first. And I mean this is all straight line, but that should be fine. Um, merge block should merge into this collector, if anything. So we just remove the collector. 
that we don't need this. Okay. And then we do, where is that merge block? Where's the merge block right there? Okay, let's see how we're going to line this up. Um, merge block, merge block. Where should you go? Uh, you should go right here because there is a connecting point there too. So you would be, oh, I, I don't know why I put the merge block there. That's actually a bad spot for it. Um, let's just get rid of it. Yeah, there's an assembler here, so it should line up with that to have a port. So we could do we could do that, yeah. Uh, we could do the port later. We could do the merge block. Um, wait, should we just shave this a little bit? Don't have to. Maybe I don't know. I mean, it's just blocks. <laughs> All right, we're shaving this off a little bit. We're gonna flatten it out. Why not? Okay, not the best idea because now we have a hole here, which we have a big hole on the on the, over there anyway. So not not the biggest deal in the world. <laughs> okay, so if we attach it straight onto this assembler, that can work. Okay. Um. We could do that. We could do the merge block here and the merge block. Well, no, can't do that. Hmm. We have to use, we have to utilize the side of it. So unfortunately we're going to do this. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix it up later, but I think we got to do this. Hopefully I didn't disconnect anything. That would be terrible. <laughs> so we'll do a merge block here. That means right next to it would be a merge block, right? So right here, so we'll get rid of that connection point for now and we'll put it back later. So we'll throw in the merge block here. All right, that should do it. And again, this is more of a, I, I think it's more or less a temporary placement. Hopefully it lined up perfectly fine here. I probably need a camera to see this, but. This may or may not work out that great. I can't really see too, too much. All right. <laughs> this is where a camera comes in handy or another person comes in handy to see where exactly we fall into the merge block. Okay. We are one block off or actually, you know what? Wait, do we have a remote control on this thing? Um, we have an antenna, <laughs> so why can't I control it? Okay. So I have to set one as main. It looks like that may be the case. Do I have two or one? I thought I removed it. No, I did not remove the other one. All right. So that's interesting. <laughs> so remote block. We got to call one as main, so we'll just do that. Main remote control. That's fine. Okay. This is going to help a lot if, if we could do this. I hope we can. Yes. Yes. We have control. Huh? <laughs> we have control. We had control. What, what did it say? This is not main cockpit. Okay, so that sucks. <laughs> so does that mean we have to get rid of a cockpit? Prop not get rid of it, but not uncheck it for main cockpit. Do we even need a main cockpit? Is this the main cockpit? Mm. Well, what am I doing? I just need it to be this one to, to say that. Um uncheck that okay all right there we go i hope that worked out so let's go shift k control yes that worked out okay so this is a little bit hard harder to see than i thought and we also matching speed with it so that's the problem all right there's a private sale over there 
Private sale is a small little ship that we could definitely just take over. <laughs> Not good. Uh, shoot. What am I doing? How am I going to match? How am I going to put that on here when there's stuff here that's in the way? That's smart. All right, that was really, really dumb. <laughs> okay, now we got to be even more careful here, unfortunately. Because we have a ship that is drifting away. It needs to go in like this. And I'm basically squishing myself here. Uh, you match speed with this one, if anything. Let's get that controlled. Oh, there. <laughs> that worked. We lost some steel plates, but. Whatever. All right, that worked out. Um, that's a problem here, but we also did say we're going to remove these anyway, so not a huge problem. All right, let's just do that. Get rid of this one. And this one. All right, so that is safe on its own. These are not. That's fine. I believe we are kind of connected. I want to believe that <laughs> as much as possible. But we might also not be. I don't know. Okay. So this should be connected to Ghoul from the assembler. So that should be fine. The, the new imp is not connected at all so we need to find that piping here to be connected interesting okay so it comes out into there so i guess we had it like that i think i mean could be wrong but it's up this way and then Towards that way. So that way we should be now all connected, I believe. Is that the same exact thing here? Um Yeah, curves right into it. Well, this side should be a T shape, which it is. Alright, yeah, perfect. That should be it. I mean, what more is there to do about that? I'm gonna speed through this fix. Okay, so Nicely done. Now, what did that look like on that side? <laughs> um, it was just directly connected. So the O2 generator to the interior wall, which this would have been an interior wall as well. So interior wall, interior wall, straight into the O2 generator. So we should be connected there. Um, I know we, we kind of meshed in the bottom as well, which we could redo it because it looks like we, we might need to kind of redo it anyways. Look at like different types of materials we use for that. I don't know why I'm having a hard time seeing that. Uh, so this was chopped off. Okay. I think we're good here. I mean... We still got a lot to do in terms of like really fixing these up to make it look a little bit better. We also still got a lot to do when it comes to fixing up the ship. <laughs> I think more or less we could probably do that off camera. I think. We, we still got to figure out how to fix this front piece too because it does look a little bit off. In terms of how to merge it together. So... We can fix this here with regular blocks really quick. Let me just fix the top here. Then we'll call it a night, if anything, or call it a day. 
So that would have been a regular block. Okay, so this would have been a regular block. We'll close up this side. Well, one of these should have been a door, actually. <laughs> um, it looks like the closest to the turret is the door. I'll leave that exposed. We're going to have to flip this thing around, although we don't need that many survival kits, to be honest. Yeah, we don't need any survival kits. Do we just leave it blank? We could. All right, I'm going to leave that blank for now. I don't think we need that many survival kits. We should really try to get a medical bay instead. That makes more sense. But yeah, we'll put the door here when we get a chance. All right, so I'm not sure if we have enough mats to fix this up. I'm going to try to fix it up as much as possible and then move on from there. I know there's a midday signal somewhere around here, so we'll pay attention to that. So let's see how this goes. All right, so that's as far as we can get it for today, which is not looking too bad. So here's the original sign of the imp. I did edit this part out a little bit just to, I uh, guess I squared it off a little bit more than it was before. And this is the newer side of the imp, which we still need to add a door or anything like that. <laughs> but we try to mimic as much as we can on both sides, as you see here. So everything's intact. We have remote control. We are, we are lacking a little bit of ion thrusters, but it's fine. We have a bunch of hydrogen thrusters that we are now up and running for once so there are three small ones back here that i don't think we need because we have such big ones back here but we have down we have up we have left right and backwards and everything like that all of them i believe are in nothing's access denied so we're all good so we have stingray imp imp ghoul and last but not least our respawn pod. <laughs> well, at least the original respawn pod. So that is pretty much stuck down here for the time being. And I didn't really update it too much or do too much with it just yet. I should really like patch it up and everything like that. But I haven't done that just yet as well. So there's still that. So there's a lot of empty spots and everything like that. But Steve is still here. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Everything else is connected. I realized this wasn't even connected to anything. This car container. So I had to put a T-shape here. But so far, so good. I guess. The ship does need a lot more work. But then the whole point is we need a lot more materials to get this to work a little bit better. But we have a symmetrical ship now. So does it look like a Stingray? Not necessarily, and now needs a longer tail. <laughs> but we are close to what we want it to be. All right, so I hope I have this projected okay. Where the next time we take damage, we can at least build it right back up with no problem. I think we are pretty good here. The only thing here, I'm not sure if this is a graphical it itch glitch. <laughs> But it looks like we might not have this working right over here. So there might be a missing. Oh, no. I know. Yeah, it is missing a, a junction over there. Because I do remember we did a projection there to try to fix that. So that would be on the other side. All right. So we definitely need to fix up the ship on the inside as well. Um, to get this rolling. All right, the, right here. We're missing... <laughs> We're missing a big old conveyor junction right over here. So we got to put that together. And once that's in there, we should be good, I hope. Okay. So this tube was broken as well. And it looks like this conveyor is broken. Great. A good chunk of stuff broken here from... I guess the battle from the M, basically. But this is all welded together. Oop. Completely forgot to put back the interior wall right over here. Which should be green. Nope. Not that green. Dark green. That here. There we go. Interior wall's all set. 
And we should be able to fly it now with all the thrusters ready to go. Incomplete corner light. That's is what it is. I don't even know where that one is. Well, part it says bridge, so it's one of the bridges. Ion thrusters are down for the count, but everything else is okay. Perfect. So we are basically set here. And our next stop is going to be this SPRT Mayday that's right over here. 13 away. Guess we can just head towards it. Check it out really quick. All right, so I can't really tell what that is because of the sun and we're not close enough to it. But of course, we're going to find out next time. So if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to drop a comment down below, even to just say hi. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.